So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 Subject Test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. 19. Suppose f of x equals half x squared minus 8 for the interval when x is between negative 4 and 4 inclusive. Then the maximum graph, the maximum value of the graph, absolute value of f of x is what? So what are they really asking here? They're saying they want us to maximize not f but the absolute value of f. So we should we should try two strategies. We should try making f as big as we can and also making it as negative as possible, right? Because the absolute value doesn't care whether it's positive or negative. So, and actually we can eliminate a right away because the absolute value of something will never be a negative number. So a just wouldn't make any sense. Um, so with that said and we can choose any value between negative 4 and 4 inclusive. Um, rather than thinking about this as generally as possible and then picking off the answer from the choices, let's actually look at the answer choices. E is the biggest choice. So if we can figure out a way to make this thing equal 8, we can stop right there because that's the biggest choice offered. So one thing that just kind of jumped out at me is that 0 is between negative 4 and 4. So if we put 0 in here, f of 0 is one half zero squared minus eight and this whole thing is zero so this just equals negative eight so the absolute value of f of zero is going to be positive eight and that's a choice so i think e is going to be the best answer I, and there's no way to really beat that um, which is counterintuitive because it's not the biggest f could be but it's the biggest that absolute value of f could be had you chosen one of the other extremes like negative 4 or 4, this would become 16, half is 8, 8 minus 8 is 0, maybe you'd choose B, uh, but we can definitely make it bigger by choosing E. Oh, and another way too is also to just throw this in your graphing calculator, half x squared minus 8, and pick off the maximum value. Well, you'll have to put the absolute value into the calculator too so that you're graphing absolute value of f of x, or recognize that you'll take not only the maximum of f but also the minimum of f because you acknowledge that it's going to get flipped up into the uh, you know as a maximum instead of a minimum hi thanks for watching if anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help drop me an email leave a comment or give me a call I answer every message and if you want to check out more videos like this visit we will teach you math.com see you in the next video